somebody else, but mm -hmm. this is the only sport where you can't have a bad night. I mean, it's, it's, I mean I'm mean, i calm because I know I'm prepared and done what I'm supposed to do, but at the same time, I have an intensity just mentally like, like no other. Like, you want to level you know, focus that, that it's hard to duplicate. You don't want to go fight another man, and you not only have to win, but you, you have to look good doing it. And it's just, it's a lot on the line. There's no room for errors, no timeouts. You know, I can't tap out to go get oxygen on the sidelines. Like, I have to I have to be there and I have to perform. So, when you have that kind of pressure on you, man, you know, you're either going to let it affect you in a negative way or you're going to respond the right way. And I, and I, I, I try to let it, you know, fuel me to, to rise to the occasion. Andre, what are your thoughts on the Chavez, what is the Chavez Jr., Brian Vera? Chavez came in overweight. How do you break down that matchup and what do you think of a future fight with Julio? I mean, just, just from a, a commentator standpoint, like, it's a good fight. Brian Vera, he's going to come to bring it. Uh, he's not going to lay down. Chavez is going to have to earn his victory if he, if he wants to win. And if Chavez hasn't prepared the right way, it's going to show tonight against a guy like Brian Vera. Uh, but as far as the future matchup, you know, I'm sleeping and drinking Edwin Rodriguez. You know, those kind of things take care of themselves down the road. Uh, that's a fight that, you know, I've spoken about. I think it's a natural fit. If he's at 68, why not? You know, he has no other pay-per-view foe. And right now, I don't have another pay-per-view foe. So if, that, if he wins his fight, I take care of business. That's a natural, natural matchup. Yeah. On that note, Andre, not looking too far ahead. Can uh, we get locked you? You know I got you. I'm not. Uh, I'm not interested. I'm not fighting. We're not. You know, we're not fighting. Okay, ask you about him as a fighter. Just on that note, uh, this is our Chavez Golovkin. Getting a lot of people pushing that fight too. I mean, with all due respect, I'm not even interested in talking about that. Like, I'm, my mind isn't even on that right now. Like, I have a guy in front of me that I'm focused on. Like, you want to talk about me fighting one of those guys? That's one thing. But I'm not interested in two other guys fighting. You know, if I'm not calling that fight from a, from a competition. How does it feel being back here? Long road back, injured. Great night. You finally got your fight signed. How does it feel being here with the media, man? I'm excited, man. It's uh, it's been a long road. I mean, it's not just the, the time. It's just everything you got to go through in between. You know, it's been it's rough, man. I mean. You know, coming off the biggest, the biggest one in my career, getting injured, that setback, and then people don't, people think that you know, injuries are just you know, negative things, and it, you know, but you gotta battle back mentally. You know, I'm going to rehab, driving an hour there, an hour back. There's nobody around to, to, to cheerlead you, root you on. You gotta push through the pain and push through, you know, sometimes the down days that you have, and, and, I, and I've been able to do that, man. And I, I feel like I'm stronger than ever. I feel like that rest in my body, good. I've been in the game 20 years, and. You know, even though I didn't want to take that long of a layoff, I think my body thanked me for it. And, I, and I'm, I'm ready to, to pick things up in training and, uh, and take, take my game to another level. But I'm excited. You mentioned uh, it was a rough physical affair going to be going into the Frotch fight. You muscled uh, Chad Dawson around. Similar fight with Rodriguez, who's likewise a little bit lengthy. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I'm not afraid of the height or, or the reach or, or even the, you know, the wide punch that he throws and stuff. I mean, I welcome it. I mean, I'm not, I just, you know, I think it's about being able to do more than one thing in a boxing room. You know, I don't really know too many guys that got to the top and stayed there, you know, just, just being doing one thing, you know. So I try to just, I try to pride myself on the fact that, that we work our craft, we, we know how to fight. You know, we know how to box, we know how to move, we know how to back a guy up. And, that, and I think that's what it's going to take against this guy or any guy, really. Okay, speaking of this guy. Oh. One more question. Speaking of this guy, he's in a similar position as other guys you fought. They, they weren't out there name-wise. Who do you see down the road as the marquee fight for you that's going to get you up there? You look, I know you're not looking down that way. But. It's hard to say. I mean, really, only, the only guy I see in front of me right now, like, yeah. these, these are you know, great questions. You know, a couple months ago before this fight, you know, got made. But right now, it's like, I, I really get tunnel vision when, when right. the fight Guys, can we take a timeout? It's just Andre's tough to say right be here now. for about two okay. hours. Can I get a picture of you? Uh, we'll yeah. the other. Wait. 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 Okay, yeah.